Maybe the, uh, the women uh, shared with the Peter when he came to pray for her. What a great testimony. She was indeed fruitful in her community, caring for others and helping them. What is our role in our community, church, neighborhood, and workplaces? How hopeful are we? What can people say about us? Another example that we can see is Olivia of Theatira. It's recorded in Acts chapter 16, 11 to 15. After her conversion to Paul, she invited Paul to her house where people presented God, where Paul presented gospel to her entire house and they were all baptized. She asked Paul to uh, Paul and his team to stay up uh, at her house. And uh, in fact there was a uh, church at her house also. Afterwards. She willingly served them. When was the last time we invited God's servants into our house or served them? What kind of burden do we have for the lost souls in our family? Another person that we can um, look at from the Bible is Priscilla. She's also Mrs. Priscilla. Priscilla was one of the first century converts who lived in Rome. After her conversion, conversion, Priscilla and her husband played a major role in establishing home churches. We see uh, their name uh, uh, several times in the episode of the New Testament. Even though she was busy during the day helping her husband make tents, we see in the New Testament what an important role she played in spreading the gospel. I'm sure she's way busier than us 21st century women. Wherever they went, there was always a home church in their house. Paul mentions about her in his letters. And uh, anybody recognize these names? Mother and grandmother of Timothy played a major role in shaping his faith. Paul mentions about them in his epistles in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 5. Are we able to pass on our faith to our children? Do they see our faith in action? Do they see our fruitfulness in our daily life? Being fruitful in our community. A, a, a great example is the Samaritan woman in John chapter 4. Soon after she found the source of living water, she went and shared this good news with her entire village. She led her community to find the Savior. Do we talk about our faith and our own faith? What about our neighbors? How often do we share the good news with them? God created you and me with a unique divine ability to bear good. He is longing to see them in your mind. If your faith includes all these aspects, continue to do so and multiply your food. If you are not living a fruitful life, let's come to our outline ourselves to the Lord. God chose to bear the word and the heart of our food should be laying. May God help us to be a good provider in the